Welcome to the Guild 3, an economic simulation and RPG set in the late Middle Ages. You assume the role of a person in this historical scenario, but you are not just part of it. You can write your own success story. Your starting character, your avatar, will age during the game. So you should get married and have children, so your heirs can continue the game. You have chosen to play an impossible game. Good luck. You'll need it. You decided to take over the role of a fairly poor and inexperienced character who has arrived at the city gates just a few days ago. You will have to work hard to achieve the rights of a citizen, which will allow you to live and work in the city. You've come to the city with no set objective. You can therefore concentrate fully on yourself and the fate of your dynasty. Hey and welcome to my Guild 3 series, the story of Thomas Richardson. After this small introduction screen of the game, we talk a little bit more about Thomas Richardson. A young fisherman from Maidstone, the just got the keys of their family fishing hut, the old rod. His parents just went on a high sea fishing trip to fulfill their long lived dream to catch the biggest fish that the world ever saw. But maybe they are always got the biggest catch with their son. But they never knew about it. They just went on a trip to fulfill their dreams. At the beginning, their son, Thomas, didn't know what to do. And he just did what he always did. He hang around the market, talked to people and just lived his life. So what did Thomas do? First thing that he understood was that he needs to get money to just to survive. Thankfully, he got the old rod. So he went to his childhood friend, Herbert, another young fishing uh, fisher boy that was not so lucky to not have an own fishing hut. So he asked him if he wants to join him and work together in his old business, the old rod. And he said yes. So he set it up, what to do, and start to fish and cook. After he told Herbert what to do, he went on his way to get to his favorite fishing spot, a small little pier just down the road that he and his father built ages ago when he was a little child. So it was a one connection that he had still to his father and he wanted to keep it alive and just fish all day long over the whole year. Over and over again he came there and fished his sprouts to sell them later on or eat himself. While he was away fishing down the pier, did Herbert start to learn cooking and the art of cooking fish on an incredible way. So he cooked while Thomas was away fishing. Everything that Thomas fished and got back just went to the hands of Herbert and he did a delicious meal out of it. One day when he returned back from his small little pier down the road, he had a lot to think about. He was actually thinking how plain his whole life was. The only thing that he did all day long was fishing. A whole year long. He was going at the morning fishing, thought about his family and came back. While Herbert was doing his own thing with his cooking. At the same time, when he got back, and Herbert was already gone, since it was so late. He worked on his own in a small little hut, and he had more time to think about his life. And he knew, he knew to change things up. At that evening, when he thought about this whole thing, he talked to this one merchant that he always sold his fish to, that his life is so plain, and he told him, you should visit the inn. A tavern to live your life a little bit more and not always hide yourself behind your work. At the same time, Thomas just recognized that the last tavern just closed ages ago. Thanks to wars and droughts, they never survived long. I'm hurrying. And the last one closed ages ago. So he had no chance than just changing about something about his life. So he, when he went to his bed right that evening to sleep, he knew on the next day he needs to change something. On the next day, the first thing that he did was visiting the bathhouse just on the other side of his old rod. He got his beard done and his hair. After that, 
He knew he needs to get a stroll around the big city of London and maybe find someone to live his life with. So after he got finished at the bathhouse, he just took his feet and went towards London. In the Harbour District, he actually met a mysterious woman had a mysterious clothing style and he never saw someone in that clothes. So since he is relative talkative, he went to her and just asked who she is and what she's doing. He went to the harbor district every single day for over half a year but never saw her again. He tried to talk to the people that maybe they know who she is and how he can talk to her. But sadly, no one knew who she was and no one knew how to get to her. But he never gave up and on a certain date, he was lucky. He saw her again and the first thing that he did was going towards her and directly talk to her. This time he was so conscious that he actually asked her where she lives and how he can meet her over and over again. So she told him where she is working. So every time he visited London now this year, the first thing he did was going towards that place. But what he didn't knew was how hard it was to crack her shell and to get towards her. But he never gave up and tried every single day and went towards London all over again to just to meet this woman. Every day I tell my apprentices and journeymen to look to your craftsmanship. What he didn't knew was how famous his old rod was. Over the time when he visited London every day, single day, he let Herbert do his own thing. And Herbert got actually quite famous. Not with his cooking and not with his fishing style. He was that fisher and cook that smashed the heads of the fish. Because Herbert was quite angry that he was let alone by Thomas. So he went back towards the old rod to find out what is happening at the old rod. And what Herbert is doing why he got famous and why he's so hatred towards the fish that he catches. But how luck is, Thomas reached towards the gates of London. He met his new love, the mysterious woman. Is she the new beginning that he hoped for? Does he go back and help Herbert? Does he want to know what's going on there still? Or does he just want to be in London? with that woman. That's the thing that we might find sooner than later out. Hey, thanks for watching the first episode of the story of Thomas Richardson. It's quite fast paced in the beginning. It's just eight and a half minutes long, a beginning sequence to know who Thomas is. We all know Guild Free is in the first years just getting here and a woman and everything and working your way up towards higher level workshops. Um, but I think I've put everything in the first two years together that actually are interesting and a good story. So if you liked the video, please consider to leave a like. If you have an idea how the world should change around Thomas, it's a free play game in London City Map, then just let me know. I'm always open for consideration what to do next. And it's still open. We are in year 1402. I think... Uh, it's now the evening of 1402 so next time it's 1404 and it's time actually to gather a family and get everything up I hope I see you in the next part of Thomas Stories and have a nice day and stay healthy <laughs>